Hey, this is Grace Fellows from Taos, and I'm going to teach you how to play Francis Forever by Mitski. So this song has only power chords, so that means that none of the chords have a third in them, so we don't really know whether they're major or minor, but the song's generally in the key of D, so we can take a guess that the F sharp and the B and the E are going to be minor chords. If you don't know power chords, they're an interesting type of chord. They usually only use two strings at a time. So if you're used to playing full open chords, this is going to be a little bit different. I would also recommend using a pick for this. I think it sounds a lot better with the chords, with power chords in general, and just the style. Um, if you're using a pick, you can hold it like, put your little curved finger, put the pick there, and put your thumb on top. I will say I believe that this song is in drop D, so you would tune the low E string down to a D, but I'm going to teach it to you in standard tuning just so that it's more accessible for more people. I've just had to change one of the chords to a different voicing of the same chord. So we're gonna start with the F sharp power chord, second fret on the sixth string, fourth fret on the fifth string. That's the F sharp. Other chords we have are G, three and five, a, five and seven, B, seven and nine, D, five and five, that's the one I had to change, and E, zero and two. And that's all the chords in the song. And for the strum, it's just gonna be down strums, playing those two low strings. You can practice letting the pick hit string four and be stopped by it there. If you are having trouble getting that clean. Okay, let's move on to the song. I would say this is a pretty beginner friendly song, so let's get into it. So for the intro, we're gonna have the F sharp eight times. Just like that. And then we're gonna start the verse. Again, we're gonna have the F sharp eight times. B four times, and then the A four times. I'm going to do that three times in a row, and then the fourth line is going to be A four times, B four times, A four times, and D four times. So it will sound like this all together. I don't know to do without you I don't know where to put my hands I've been trying to lay my head down but I'm writing this at 3 a.m. and that's the verse on to the chorus we're gonna start with four G's four A's two D's two F sharps, four G's, and then start again on G, another four, A, four, four D's, four F sharp minor, four G's, and now we're repeating, four G's, four A's, two D's and two F sharps, four G's, and the second half, four G's, four A's. When she sings me, there's going to be this riff, which I'm going to teach you separately. And it would sound like this together. And it would sound like this together. I don't need the world to see that I've been the best I can be, but I don't think I could stand to be. And there's the riff here, which I'm about to show you. So the riff goes two F sharps, two A's, two F sharps, two A's, four G's, four A's. So together that's. The second half goes two B's, two A's, two B's, two A's, and then six A's and two F sharps, and then starting again. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, that's the riff. And then you go back into the verse. And the verse has a complete repeat of the first verse. It sounds like this. On sunny days I go out walking I end up on a tree-lined street I look up at the gaps of sunlight I miss you more than anything Then we have the second chorus, just like the first. I don't need the world to see Here is the one place in the song we're going to have that E chord. Me. But I don't think I could stand to be where you don't see me. And then we have the third chorus, which has the different lyrics. Again, just like the other two. And it does go into the riff at the end. Autumn comes in your And that's the whole song. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for coming by. I've got so many other tutorials and also originals and covers and some other random stuff on this channel. So check it out. Come back again and I'll see you next time. Bye.